Hello everyone, glad to have you with me today. This is going to be an interesting study because many things are happening right now that are so connected to this verse, which follows the theme of love from 1 Corinthians 13, where it says, love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and my part, and endures through every circumstance. Most of us have been through some kind of circumstance that really tried our faith. And that's what we wanna talk about just a bit today. Uh, this is agape love, love that comes from God, kind of a divine gift that God has given us because you, you don't always react with that kind of heavenly divine love. You usually act with just friendly love or family love. But this one is special. It's birthed in the heart of God and put into our hearts as we follow Him. What does it look like? Well, it looks like persevering in spite of any circumstance you face. It also looks like a willful self-discipline to do it God's way, divine love, not just your fleshly, familiar love. Uh, it also means we focus our eyes on Jesus Christ. What would Jesus do? It's that kind of love. And it continues to trust God no matter what the circumstances. That's a hard one for most of us, especially in our fast food kind of culture today. It's mine, I want it now, and why isn't God giving it to me? So that's, that's the kind of love that is very fleshy. But the kind of love God wants us to express is the kind here. It endures, it endures, it hangs on. There are great examples. If you go to uh, Hebrews chapter 11, it's full. There are dozens of people mentioned in that one chapter that said, by faith they, by faith they, and they continued, they endured. Uh, you have Noah, you have Abraham, you have Moses, you have the prophets, you have the people of Israel, you have those who were uh, blessed, and you have those who were persecuted, all in that one chapter. It's an amazing chapter. You should really focus on it and read it carefully. And then in chapter 12, as soon as it finishes those examples, it goes to Jesus Christ, our greatest example, and that's verse 2 of Hebrews 12. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding the shame and now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. What a verse, 12, two. And it shows us the greatest example of all, Jesus Christ. And then we have examples even right here in our church at Heights. We have a family I know of personally whose son, an adult man, fell, severely injured his head, and two years now, he has struggled with life-threatening pain in his head and still going through it. And mama's getting pretty upset at God because, God, we pray, why haven't you answered? Well, this is one of those things where you trust God. You endure in spite of the circumstances. We have had the COVID pandemic. We have had all kinds of grieving going on. We have had Alzheimer's with families taking care of loved ones who have severe cases of Alzheimer's. Boy, you talk about having to endure. That is a major task, any one of those. And then recently we've gone through the Paralytic Games. It's been beautiful to watch because they do these games, they go through these sports tests and contests because they have endured incredible training and they are working against such incredible odds. That is an amazing thing to me because their eyes are fixed on either the gold, the silver, or the bronze and being able to stand on that podium and have the American song played in their honor. 
Well, you know, some years ago, 13 in fact, I had cancer so bad that they had to take me through a lot of uh, treatment. My theme verse, the way I fixed my eyes on Jesus, came from Psalm 118, verse 17, that said, I shall not die. I will live to bring glory to the Lord. You check that one out. Find your own verse that speaks to you, that becomes your stake in the ground, the one that you stand by when you realize you're facing a difficult season in your life. Our goal has to be staying with Christ, trusting Christ, never doubting Christ. Keep our eyes fixed on the goal because one day we get our reward. One day we get to be called up to that podium where we will hear our Christian anthem sung for us, which is, How Great Thou Art. God, you got me through it. And I will sing with all those angels, how great thou art. So we've learned to endure our horrible, difficult, troubling circumstances because the example of others proved to us we can make it too. Jesus did. He wants us to do it. Just fix our eyes on the goal, which is Jesus Christ and eternity with him. He helps us, he gives us the Holy Spirit, and he gives us good Christian friends around us that help us to hold on and trust and see what the Lord will do. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you will find that verse that becomes your theme verse to help you stay faithful, endure no matter what the circumstances will be. We'll see you in church. God bless.